Hi folks, Dick Coughlin here. This is going to be a, a very, very basic video, but I just uh, I thought I'd share some things, with, something with you that I thought was quite interesting. See, recently, for no particular reason, I've been uh, going through some of my uh, older, really, really old videos, which I've been downloading and re-uploading onto uh, Mediafire, so I've got copies of them. Yes, I've actually been backing my shit up. Yeah, I know, it's taken me 10 years to work that out, but fuck it, here we go. And uh, I was looking at some of the like really, really sort of older videos that people who are more sort of long term uh, viewers and subscribers of mine will know about, but um, and uh, will probably remember and uh, generally considered some of the fa some of the favourites of the of the gr days of yore from my channel. And I've been thinking about and I've been looking at sort of some of the people I used to respond to and sort of looking them up. And um, and today and today because uh, this is one that was uh, always very popular, I was looking up a guy called Mike Voritz. Now Mike Voritz. Uh, you know, is a name that many of you may have heard of al already. And even if you're not familiar, um, you know, I made several video responses to Mike Voritz, who originally went under the name Real Catholic TV and later went under the name Church Militant TV. Um, I christened him uh, Real Catholic Toupe. Um, here's an example of here's an example of the videos, uh, some of the videos I made to him anyway. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. Lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed, that's good to hear, I'm glad to hear that's what you're doing Mike. I think we should, uh, I'm going to start off the uh, l exposing the lies and the falsehoods by mentioning your fucking wig mate. When you saw him, did anyone not think to be? <laughs> In the latest issue of U.S. Catholic... It's a great publication. I get it every month. It's brilliant. ...which is not really very U.S. and hardly Catholic. Yeah, that's because you made the mistake I did, uh, probably, Mike. You know, if you think it stands for United States Catholic, no, the U.S. stands for underage sex. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex. Skipping minor details about choice of words and the hair splitting... Over I think you're the last person who should talk about splitting hairs, Mike. Does anyone wa is anyone wondering about... This little, this little thing he has where he has the words he's saying pop up next to him. That seems pretty simple. Yeah, I think we could fucking freeze that right there, that image right there. That is your life right there, mate. That is your eulogy. But if you want to go hunt for yourself, I suggest you make sure you have the stomach for the most foul-mouthed, Catholic-bashing, invective-filled hate speech you've ever read in public forums. Fuck you, you cunt nugget! But in a way, their response should be instructive. It was instructive! I told you to go fuck yourself! The staff at U.S. Catholic feels it necessary to bring up the fact that Hudson has a long history with the Republican when God the Father says to the serpent in the garden, What's in the name of a blood-fucking-soaked, anus-filled fucking carpet from a gay termite orgy in Long John Silver's wooden leg are you banging on about? But what they fail to realize in their adulterous... I wish. ...or chemically addicted or... Occasionally. Or ...money worshipping or... I don't fucking think so. ...attention crazed... Yeah. ...power hungry or... Uh, no, not really. Or over the top. I am not over the top, you fucking wanker! Self consciousness, pride filled, or otherwise promiscuous lives. Would you get to the sodding point? Now, in case you're wondering, yes, Mike Voritz is still going strong under his, uh, on YouTube and on his website under the name Church Militant TV. Um, what's interesting, and what you know, some of you may not know, is the reason he went from real Catholic TV to Church Militant TV, TV is because the Catholic Church themselves, the diocese, actually fucking you know made you know objected to him, actually had to force him to fucking change because they were not happy with his videos using the term Catholic or, or real Catholic in their title because they felt that the, you know the message he was promoting was not one that the uh, Catholic Church wanted to be associated with and you know you know that you're going too far over the edge when the Catholic Church watches your videos and goes uh-uh no 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 chance, right? But looking into it, I thought I'd you know do a little bit more research, see if Mike Voritz has been up to anything or made any videos of any profound note since those ones that I made. And I actually found some interesting things, some that you know go way back before he was even making videos. But one in particular that I'm going to play uh, play for you now, and I'll just I'll play it now on just the audio. I can't get a copy of it um, because I you know I can't seem to be able to download it because it's on his website. And uh, you know, and it's 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 just on his website. It's not on YouTube anywhere. This particular video. This is a video that's on uh, the churchmilitant.com uh, uh, website. I'll leave a link to it below so you can see it's mine. You'll you'll hear the audio playing here. Um, this is a video called uh, "Limiting God." 
Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex. I'm Michael Voris. If you have children around, you may want to view this before letting them do that. I think anybody who allows their kids to watch Mike Voritz's videos outside of having a fucking laugh, you know, the government should immediately take their kids off them. Right? If I think you shouldn't just take their kids off them. I think that, you know, that you, you sh their kids shouldn't even be put into care. They should just be taken out to like some, you know, wilderness area and released into the wild. They'll be much better off. As you probably know, the apostolate has been somewhat silent this week publicly. That's because a situation has developed that I must fill you in on. Yeah, it's going to fill us in all right. It involves the sins of my past life, all committed prior to my reversion to the Catholic faith. Mm, yeah, right, yeah. Very good authority from various sources that the New York Archdiocese is collecting and preparing to quietly filter out details of my past life with the... <laughs> what? Your past life, trust me, no one's trying to filter out any details from your past life. I think, you know, there's no need now. You could have just kept this quiet and no one would have given a shit. Aim of publicly discrediting me, this apostolate. Mike, Mike it, it is literally, trust me, Mike, it is literally impossible to discredit you, right? You are undiscreditable. And the work here. I've never made a secret that my life prior to my reversion was extremely sinful a.k.a. fun. I have said many times in public that I was in a state of mortal sin, and had I died, I would have been damned. Mike, you already are damned. And you're not even dead. You don't have to die. You, you live every day as Mike Voritz. I don't know where this phrase comes from, but waking up every day and being Mike Voritz is both your, your crime and your punishment. I also revealed these sins were of a sexual nature and that they occurred over a prolonged period of time. I did not a, pro, a very prolonged period of time. Reveal the specific nature or details of the Oh, we're going to get specific, Mike. Sins ...because when I returned home to the church, I did not think that a full public confession of details was necessary. Oh, God, God imagine me. Imagine confessing your sins. What kind of Catholic would do that? ...in order to start proclaiming the great mercy of God. Perhaps that was a wrong assessment. I don't seriously know. Perhaps along these years, I should have been revealing all of that in greater detail. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you weren't ashamed of it, well, if you convert, it shouldn't be a problem, should it? Eh? Mm. That... Unless, of course, it's something quite, quite bad. I now think so, but more on that in a moment. Mm -hmm. Whatever the matter, I will now reveal that for most of my years in my 30s, confused about my own sexuality, I lived a life of living relationships with homosexual men. Live in relationships with homosexual men. You mean you're gay, Mike? You were a homosexual man. In fact, if you were then, you still are now. You know, confusion is one thing, Mike, but for most of your 30s... And you, you claim your Catholic reversion was in 2004 when your mum died, but you'd have been in your 40s then. I lived the lifestyle and contributed to scandal in addition to On the, the outside you lived the lifestyle. I think on the inside you were living the lifestyle, mate. Cool sins. On the inside, I was deeply conflicted. I don't need to know about what was going on inside you during your thirties, mate. All of it. In a large portion of my twenties, I also had frequent sexual liaisons with both adult men and adult women. So in your twenties it was men and women. But in your 30s, it was mostly just men, to the point where you were even living with them. Sounds to me like your confusion got sorted out to me, mate. These are the sins of my past life in this area, which are all now publicly admitted and owned by me. Oh yeah, owned indeed. L listen, Mike, I'm going to tell you this now. You know, and I know that you know my word, my, what I think is of no interest to you, but believe me, of all the things in your life that you have to fucking apologise for, right? Getting bummed by another man, sixty-nining dicks with a bunch of dudes, and having and enjoying every minute of it, is the least fucking is the least of the things that you need to apologise for. In fact, everything else since 2004 is a, is, is a long, long line of stuff ahead of that. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. 
and uh, I might look at you know who knows I might do some more of this um, anyway uh, my name is Dick Coughlin uh, hope you've enjoyed this video um, thanks very much good night may God be less